For the RMA Group, the Jaguar Land Rover franchise is not a new business for them. It has franchise agreements with JLR in over 60 countries, which includes 23 African countries. The group comes into the local market at a time JLR sales have been affected by negative publicity from board wrangles that have manifested at CMC Motors. The brief for the auto dealer is to restore confidence with the key brands, which includes Range Rovers, Land Rover Discoveries, as well as Jaguars and offered specialized repairs and parts for the cars. And even before it opens its first shop, RMA has already signaled its intent by announcing its plans to reduce the unit price of its vehicles, which on average range between 6 and 23 million shillings. There isn't one JLR product that remains at the same price. Uh, the prices have, will come down, will be announced soon, but they're down on average by 11 to 12 percent. Um, and as far as uh, the statement or the comment on high end, you're right. I mean, uh, the Jaguar Land Rover brand is a premium brand. Um, we need to bring better value for money within the premium sector so that uh, our rivals, Mercedes, BMW, etc., uh, can also um, look at our product and say, okay, this is good value for money. For RMA, it couldn't have picked a better time to set up shop in the country. Data from the Kenya Motor Industry shows that sales of new luxury cars rose 7.5% in the first quarter, beating the overall new vehicle market, whose sales grew by only 2%. Sales of Range Rover and high-end Land Rover Discovery cars came second at 16 units in the first quarter up from 10 units a year earlier. Being a highly capitalized business with scenarios of one unit sale a month, RMA is looking to large government, corporate, multinational, aid and UN agency contracts to keep the business running. RMA also plans to acquire other brands to sell in its table. If after that or within that scope, we find that we can leverage from our involvement with other manufacturers in other markets and it's a suitable viable product to be marketed in Kenya um, and from our you know harsh road conditions it's important that a product's brought, brought in and then backed up properly and not just brought in and sold um, then of course we will look at that. The company however remains non-committal over the level of investment it's going to put in the local market. Michael Karanja, KTN Business Today.